Let's talk about the cachama. It's a fish in high demand, especially in populations in the Amazon, as well as in other tropical regions in South America. This thanks to the quantity and quality of its meat. The cachama is a big fish and is widely distributed throughout the Orinoco River, all along the Amazon River Basin. It is a fish that has, for the last few years, been turning into an excellent, abundant, and tasty product to fish in the rivers of Guarané, La Portuguesa, Apure, and its tributaries. This is an abundant product in local markets, as well as in Colombia's big cities. Some of the most economically important species of cachama are the black cachama or Cherna colosoma macropomum, and the white cachama or Morocoto piaractus brachypomum. The cachama descend with the rising of the waters, leaving behind fertilized eggs at the river's edge and in flooded areas, where they will then grow into alevins, allowing natural and wild populations to continue. The spawning of the cachama is complete, taking place before the waters reach their maximum height. Sexual maturity takes place at three to four years of age, when specimens reach a weight of around four to five kilograms. Females can lay an average of 150,000 eggs per kilogram of live weight. This fish has great potential for fish farming due to its rusticity, ample feeding habits, rapid growth, cohabitation with other species, and because it doesn't reproduce in captivity, therefore avoiding problems in its handling. The cachama is naturally an omnivore, yet tends to be frugivorous, feeding off the fruits that fall into the water, like the guava, the mango, the guama, and so on. Even though it also feeds off plankton, especially the black cachama, it adapts easily to concentrated or a commercially balanced diet. For the optimum development of the cachama, it is necessary that the cultivation site follows these environmental requirements. The ideal temperature is of 24 to 29 degrees Celsius. It can temporarily tolerate temperatures under 22 and up to 34 degrees Celsius. Yet, if they stay in these conditions too long, the fish get stressed, reduce their food intake, become susceptible to diseases, and after a short period of time, they die. The pH has to be in between 6.5 and 8.5. The oxygen dissolved must be over four parts per million in the water for the normal development of the crop. It resists to concentrations below two parts per million, but the fish can become affected, reducing their food intake and becoming susceptible to disease. The alkalinity must be above 20, although ideally it would be 60 milligrams per liter equivalent to calcium carbonate. These components are important for the regulation of pH, production of phytoplankton, oxygen, and the right turbidity for the crop. The nitrogenized compounds, nitrites, nitrates, ammonium, are metabolic excretions and toxic for the fish. The values of 0.1 milligrams per liter and 0.01 milligrams per liter of ammonium indicate a disturbance in the cycle. Nitrates can be a bit toxic, but under the right circumstances, they can transform into nitrites.